it's time to show you what we did at Antalya and few lessons learned. Hello my co-host, welcome back to our channel. I am sure you are doing great. I am doing great myself. Have you seen the previous video on Talia Sudito? If you haven't, after this one, please click the link above or below. It will take you there. Here is the lobby of the hotel and my friends finalizing the check-in for our keys. Does it not look ecstatic this place? Mm, I loved it here. Please darling, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like this video and please do leave a comment. In the previous video, I promised to tell you all about the airport car to the hotel. I will do that soon. You will soon see us feeling super cool in an extra room size cab we took from the airport thinking we had a very good bargain. In the beginning, we were told 350 lira and we bargained it down to 250 lira and we were feeling super excited that we had a good bargain until we were we're on our way to the first place we saw we had to find out that the price was actually 150 lira to our destination so the first lesson we learned is it is best for you to pre-book airport pickup with the hotel that you booked with if you didn't do that it is better for you to slash whatever price they told you at the airport into three and start pricing from one third of the price that way you will have a very good bargain and you will get this kind of massive cheating that we got anyway jjc is jjc that's what we are and they had their card for even easier bookings to avoid that same experience, I've got the link to all in one travel bookings for you, including Amazon link for shopping. Remember, there is no additional charges using these links. Click, click, ping, you are sorted with airport pickup and a reliable tourist guide in Antalya. All right, 14 things we did at Antalya. The first place we visited was Hajjaldin Ya Shahri Ramazan, meaning welcoming Ramadan. It's just a walking distance from our hotel and we were told that it is a Ramadan market that opens only during Ramadan where they sell things, food and everything on a very low price to help people that are engaged in Ramadan. So we are in here. I'm going to show you around this place for you to see what is going on in here. A little bit of what the first outing look is all about. So have a look. Uh, we have all sorts of products. It's lined up way down from the beginning. <laughs> So here are some lucky foods. So amazing. One quick question while we are having a look. What do you do when you go on vacation? Step out into town to explore the city or get stuck in the room with your boo? Let me get your answer at the comment section. Me, I love the former. One more important thing, darling. If you like what you are watching and haven't subscribed, have because please civil player subscribe put the notification bell on for new video a lot thank you so much for that don't forget we are tell not or tell us this <laughs> the first time i cited this product i first thought wow sip of puff but when i got closer it's smaller than puff puff that's the only difference but the molding and the frying no the frying is exactly the same the only problem is i couldn't ask them the name because they don't understand english so i just have to have a look and get away <laughs> This is entertainment going on here as well and numerous other activities happening in this arena for people to chill, relax and feel good. To me, this is Antalya version of Winter Wonderland 
in London that usually opens only on Christmas seasons welcoming Christmas so exactly the same this happens only during Ramadan welcoming Ramadan and it has different activities for people to have fun and chill the only massive difference is that you pay ticket fee to get into winter wonderland and do activities but here there is no entrance fee and i don't know about the activities because we were busy looking for where to eat we were really hungry but we just found this place where we can have good food i hope it's really good the food was good but looked different from what we expected to get following our choice from the menu because we just had to point out the dish we wanted from the menu due to language barriers. Other days though, we found other restaurants the food on the menu matched the physical food despite the language barriers so expect this. On our day two, we planned to visit the waterfall and the beach and the waterfall we chose was Dudin Shelalisi and that's where we're heading now. On arrival to the waterfall area, we found the Lamborghini of the olden days, of course, camera ride. <laughs> That's what I'm calling Lamborghini because it is the oldest, the best and the richest means of transportation in the olden days. Why not? We decided to explore for the first time in my life riding on a camel. The queen is coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was fun. Have a look. They charged up 10 lira to take a picture with the camel, but we decided to ride. So we added a little bit on top of the 10 lira they charged us for taking picture because we rode on it. So it's time to get in and experience the waterfall for the first time again in my life, seeing a waterfall. Here we are inside. Note that this is not the only Jordan waterfall in the province of Antalya. I was super excited at the site and I was expecting that I will be able to get into the water and you know have some wash because I've heard stories that waterfalls are kind of healing waters and um, but I don't think I will be allowed to get in and have the experience let's get over there and see entrance to the waterfall sauce Look at my friends, they were madly in love with this place. They couldn't even wait like they jumped in on it and started taking pictures. You know, the cave look like and everything, really, you will love it. My friends went crazily in love with this place. Look at them having fun. Not just them, me too. If you know me, you know I am crazily in love with nature. That is me. So I was shocked of words mind you this is not the only waterfall at antalya there are several of them but this one is the closest one to us which is north east side of antalya and it's one hour drive from our location using tram but this amazing guy you saw here was um, one of my friends friends friend that came to celebrate his girlfriend's birthday 
down here at Antalya and they were kind enough to pick us up from the hotel and we had to make this trip together and that made it more fun. The more, the merrier. Unfortunately, as you can see, I couldn't have my miracle shower at the waterfall area, but it's at least good that I have to witness a real waterfall in my life, not just pictures. The third thing we did on the same day was visit to the Sand Sculpture Museum, which was about 30 minutes drive from the waterfall. Here we are. This is my first time of visiting a sandland uh, sculpture. What it is, is a place where sculptors from all over the world come to create the many sculptures over a period of three weeks because Antalya boasts over 300 days of sunshine a year. So at night, they will put up LED lighting that accompanies the theme music looping throughout the day in these beautiful works. So you can take about one hour to go around seeing these beautiful sculptures. As you can see, so many of the sculptures are under construction because the previous one obviously had washed away. They use a sun clay mixture from riverbirds along with a water solution coating sprayed over the sculpture to help protect and ensure they hold up through the year. So this is all about the quick look around the Sandland Sculpture Museum area. So we are gonna go over the back where we have a beach to have some fun and play in the water. Here we are at the beach just behind the Sandland Museum. How I this? If you have seen my previous video, you will see that there are numerous beaches in Antalya, especially around Lara area. But we chose this one because it's not far away from the waterfall and it's just behind the Sandland Museum. So it's quite easy for us to just get in here and have fun. It's pretty much a very quiet beach and um, there are not so much people around here, um, not much activity, probably because it's not yet proper summer. I want to believe that during summer, it's gonna really be full. So let's get in and see what we can do around here you can also see that this is a massive beach even though other ones are massive but this is actually very big you can see the long stretch of land you know it is beautiful this entrance is gonna be really lovely for wedding uh, ceremony you know when they make the entrance of the bride and the bridegroom to pass through here and then the um, seller the attendants of the wedding will just stand side by side you know like proper thing you see at Hawaii in America I guess this is why they called it Hawaii Beach I will say it does have a Porsche look don't you think so let me know what you think at the comment section at this beach, they have activities like the balloon ride, ski ride and few other ones but these are the two they offered me. I couldn't take it because um, I didn't come out with um, enough money to cover the activity. So I ended up playing with the swing, playing in the water 
and playing with my friends and um, it was cool enough my intention is that we will still find time to do the balloon ride because it's something i really want to do including the diving it's on top of my bucket list but um, unfortunately I ended up not doing it because we have very limited days so I couldn't get to somewhere else where I can do the balloon ride I missed out on it the next activity was the safari board bike which took place on our third day in Antalya the location was about 45 minutes to one hour drive away from our hotel and I think it was more because we had to go around the hotel to pick other people that booked in for the activity which actually made it fun we really did have fun have a look while I continue talking this is where I learned my second lesson which was about the board bike ride we have to put on our gears which was provided by them and quickly step outside for a quick briefing and safety instructions before we start the ride. The second lesson I learned in my opinion was that I feel it's better to ride two in one bike rather than alone in a bike. That way you will be able to capture your moments otherwise the organizers will take you some good shots but to collect the pictures you will really pay high to some people it may not really be expensive but for us we are on a budget so we left the pictures thankfully i had my own coverage originally i wasn't meant to ride the quad bike but because the order of our friend cancelled for some misunderstanding i had to do it to make it more memorable for this my friend but in reverse i really loved it i enjoyed it i felt so delighted that i experienced it Well, it's actually cheaper to ride two rather than one because I just had to pay just few lira to be able to ride with her so that little savings we used it to do more charity so sit back and watch us exhibit a hidden talent which we never knew we possessed <laughs> I love it it's what it was really fun <laughs> Did you see my safety cap? <laughs> if somebody asked me now, I would say I'm wearing safety cap. What the hell? <laughs> Look at that spiking out there. I didn't put it well. <laughs> a good look at myself making editing this video i just realized that i'm just looking like those bike riders in nigeria in fact we call them okada riders just take a look are you from nigeria you know what i'm talking about just have a good look at me am i not looking like that the okada riders? this is quite funny but i really enjoyed every bit of it and the sound of the hood bike even sounded like those like Tick 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 kind of bikes that you enter in your car, forgive me. <laughs> Quite amazing. However, it was a wonderful experience. I really loved it. jump onto the sixth activity which took place on our fourth day which was visit to Pamukkale. This was a three and a half travel from our hotel. It is in the Denizli province in southwestern Turkey located in Turkey's inner Asian region in the river Menderes valley which has a temperate climate for most of the year. So on our way we made three stops. The first stop was here. 
Salda Golu. This is a lake located within the Yeshilova district in the Berdu province around the southwestern region in Turkey. The local people call it Saldives while others call it Maldives because of the white sand and the crystal clear water. Oh my god, this place is absolutely breathtaking. I don't think I have ever seen any lake as beautiful as this lake. This is the most beautiful lake I've ever seen in my life. Maybe in the future I'm gonna see something more beautiful or much more beautiful, but for now, this is number one. I love it. Look at the color combination. Oh my god, god is super great. This is beautiful. This is breathtaking. The lake area is set to cover about 4,370 hectares with its depth reaching 196 meters. It may actually be one of the deepest lakes in Turkey. It's beautiful! I love it! Just take a look at this beautiful white beach sands, the limpid water, the crystal white islets within the lake, these complete the scenery. This is absolutely beautiful. It's just not me looking with wonders. All I can say is, wow. The Almighty is super, super emilimious. Don't ask me what that is because I have no idea what I'm saying, but like that's how to express how beautiful this place is to me. Like it has no words. Now look at me filling the white stones, which I finally realized while I'm actually editing this video that they are the they are called hydromagnesite minerals that they are believed to offer remedies for certain dermatological diseases. I actually picked this one to put it in my pocket, but by the time I got to the car, it was kind of melting. So I had to throw it away. If I knew it had some healing powers, man, I'm going to just pack all of it and come back home with it because like I wanted to heal my pimples, you know, my acne, but I didn't know nobody told me you need to be here. You really need to be here, honestly. There's actually a construction going on on there, which they say is a huge national park project known as the Salda Lake National Park, which will be completed around 2023. Now, going on to the seventh thing we did at Antalya, which was um, on the same day, visit to the stone factory after Salda de Gol. Have a look. Alright, so like you said, my name is Sanam and I'm gonna give you short information about stones. As you can see, the machines and stuff, you are in a factory of stones. And this is our certain stone, we call it onyx. So onyx and marble, they are in the same family, but they have different characters. Like marble doesn't transparent in a light, but onyx does. I'm going to show you in here. And you can see different colors inside of Sonia right there as well. That means every color has all minerals. For example, this green one has copper minerals, which is good for your blood pressure, for heart problems, also for headaches, stomach. Just put water, wait 10 minutes, and then drink it. In that 10 minute, water will absorb all minerals, that's why it will help. And right here we have this brown one. It's from iron minerals and it's good for your blood circulation, for anemia, for diabetes. And uh, if you have that kind of problems, you can get this one. And this is our <coughs> biotonic, most transparent one. You can get this one from here, from this area. And it has calcium minerals. And everyone knows that calcium minerals help you strengthen bones for rheumatism, for arthritis, right? And this is our black onyx, so with this type of onyx doesn't transparent in a light because of carbomineral. And carbomineral can take away your negative energy and always will keep you in high concentration. And this is our most interesting stone, we call it fossilized because you can see different insects and seashells fossils inside the stone. And whenever I'm going to put it to the light like this, you can see it very clearly. And it has iodine minerals. 
That's why it's good for your thyroid problems, for asthma, for allergies, even if you have eczema like skin problems. You can get this one. And right there we have all these animals. You know, every animal has one meaning in different religions. I can shortly tell you that this all is for wisdom, fish is for love, dolphin is for love, elephant for big and happy family, turtle for a long life, and the frog is for money or for richness, alright? Now I'm done with owning stones. I want to talk about our new precious little sultanate. We call it sultanate because of sultans, you know, in all time in uh, history, only our kings and their wives could wear this stone. And this stone can change color six or seven times by different lights. For example, I'm gonna show you with my ring. You can see in here it's kind of reddish color. But whenever I'm gonna put into this light, 925 sterling silver covered with rhodium. That's why you won't get black and not give you any allergy. You can use it completely freely. And also I want to tell you that I'm going to give you a certificate for my gemstone for five years. In five years, if you will not like it, you can change it anytime, anywhere. And also our old prices in US dollars, but you can pay whatever you are comfortable with. And you will have 25% discount, all right? Now I'm done. Thank you for listening. I'm going to take you in. And then we head on to the third stop on our way to Pamukkale, which made up the eighth thing we did on this Antalya trip. This place is part of the Hierapolis Pamukkale, but they made it distinctive with this an ancient restaurant setup that takes you back to the ancient days culture with a hint of asian like traditional accent in the touch of the whole design i loved the love use in serving us food here the man kept cutting eye for me i think he likes me and when we were leaving he said see you soon i was like is he gonna fuck me back Anyways, look at the restaurant. I I was the first person to just take my seat on the floor. Look at the food. Simple but super lovely and I really love it. I cleared my plate. I cleared every single thing. It's lovely. By the way, the food is complimentary to the trip. We didn't pay extra money for it. <laughs> That's the main one, isn't it? Finally, we arrived at our final destination, which was Pamukkale itself, making it the ninth thing we did on this trip to Antalya. So, have a look. Don't worry, I will keep explaining more. Here comes the third lesson I learned on this trip. If you are making your tourism booking, it is best to book it with the hotel that you are at instead of booking outside because it may not only be expensive, but you may be running a risk. So it's safer for you to book anything from your hotel for safety reasons. There are lots of scammers running this tourist thing. It's the major business in Antalya. So be careful. To make it even more easier for you, I have a link below you can use to connect with the tour organizers we used. I actually found that they are more affordable. By the way, this is a free advert because I like them and there is no extra charges for you using this link. Just mention you are from me. Cleopatra Antique Pool. Cleopatra Antique Pool is a natural hot pool that is about 36 degrees hot. It is said to be rich in magnesium mineral, which helps to heal the muscles. I guess this is the only natural hot pool in the world. Here is the Hierapolis Museum. We didn't get in because we had other interests, but it's another thing you can do here. This 
Hierapoli ruined site also includes the temples of Cybel, Artemis, Plato, and Posido, the ancient gods, and also has the tomb of Philip the Apostle. So there are many things to see here in Pamukkale if you have time. the travertines here we are at the place that brought me all the way to pamukkale three and a half hours away by the way pamukkale means cotton castle these shimmering snow white limestones are known as coral site rich springs you can see they drip slowly down the mineral terraces into the pools below we are actually on top of a mountain Friend? Huh? Friend? Yes. Best? Maybe? Yes. Sister. Sister? Friends? Sister. Friends? Cousin. Cousin. <laughs> there is name? where the current castle Maybe was located not. before it was destroyed and this place was made UNESCO World Heritage Site. They said the whole city is built on this travertine formation totaling about 2,700 meters long, 600 meters wide and 160 meters high. So from the first layer, I'm going in to the second layer. This one is not actually slippery, but up there is slippery. So going in. Slippery. Oh, Jesus. Ah, this is even warmer. Yeah. As I was experiencing the different pool layers, I came to understand that all of them are not the same temperature. Some of them are actually warmer than others. I honestly have never seen anything like this in my life. I used to see this on social media. I thought it was a joke. I never knew this thing really do exist. Man, I love this place. I love the whole trip look at this place this is the original natural travertine but due to the construction they did in the 20th century a lot of damage was done it was later demolished when unesco world heritage site took it over and then they tried to salvage it to what we have today but over thousands of years this place had really been a world heritage site just get a look at here wow look at me getting all the natural hidden like i took a deep dive into the pool every stage of it <laughs> i love that i did that i was feeling super cold afterwards <laughs> My friend said this place made her feel like she's in heaven and that is absolutely true. That was how I felt too. My inquisitive mind was so curious to get to the end of the layers of the pool but because the journey was so long I got really tired besides we still have few other things to see around here and we are supposed to leave at five o'clock or something like that so we had to go back next we head on to Hirapoli archaeology here is the Hirapoli city ruin. You saw part of it when we were coming into this place, though I didn't explain it. 
This space was initially a sustained military province established by King Eumenes II of Pegamon not long after 190 BC. Our tour guide said most of this destruction was caused by quake. Most times, archaeologists still come here to dig some facts that will help them in research, so you can find treasures here. Next thing we did was to see the Hirapoli Theatre. Wow, this theatre was built in the 60 ADs. Like, seriously, what a relentless theatre. It's actually about 350 meter long, the full extent of which remains standing in the caviar. It was built under the rulership of Emperor Hadrian and Septimius Severus. So here comes the 14th and the last thing we did here in Antalya, which includes boat cruise and visit to the market. Hello. What's your turn? English? Sorry, excuse me. What did I say? English. English. Rec Rabbit fortune tyler. Fortune. Open. Here, my curiosity brought me out. I saw rabbits and I went to look, look and see what's going on here. And this is how I ended up getting fortune teller. And at the end of the day, he said we have to pay $40 for this. Like, what the heck? I was like, no way, I'm not interested. You forced me to do it. And at the end of the day, we had to give him like $40 to get away. Have you ever seen a fortune teller? Tell me your thoughts about them and experience at the comment section and expect all about this one in the upcoming blog. Fortune, Rabbit, what is your name? Tomorrow, C. Oh, is it? Yes, C. Then is it a tablet now? So, this is what I got. What is Rabbit Keshank? Rabbit Keshank. Fortune money, how much? Abi. Love one. Yes, yes. Eh. Yes. Open. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Open. Open. Sorry. Now it's boat cruise moment, the soft life moment. We have done the whole work around. It's time to chill and have the boat cruise. We are actually gonna settle down, wait for other crew members to get on board, then we sail off. While having a look with me, if you haven't seen the previous video, which includes visit to Macantalia and the market, please click the link above or the link at the description section for you to watch it. And don't forget that all the links I have at the description section will take you to the resources you may need and it is at no additional cost to you. So don't hesitate to use them. So this is the comprehensive list of the 14 things we did at Antalya in 5 days. There are numerous things you can do at Antalya. We did only this few basically because some of the tourist attraction sites are miles of drives away. So there is basically no boring moment at Antalya except you just want to go yourself. Final lesson I learned booking holiday at Antalya or many other locations close to Antalya you need to book it for seven days at a minimum for you to be able to have time to explore many more places and then have rest so this is it finally don't forget to click the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel and share my video if you find it interesting Rain is coming so we have to go downstairs and get him ready to head out. The next chapter will be the full review of the 5 star hotel we stayed in. Watch out for it, you may want to stay there. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye bye. One love. <laughs>
2022. It's oh my amazing. Beach.